we have credible information that this uh, possible uh, criminal activity took place. Uh, and I can't verify whether or not it's uh, really uh, criminal activity, but I do have uh, faith in the whistleblowers that bring it to me that this document exists. That was Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley yesterday on the bombshell whistleblower claim that then Vice President Joe Biden took money personally from a foreign national in exchange for a policy decision about America. Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer sent a subpoena to FBI Director Christopher Wray yesterday demanding that he testify on this allegation that the Bureau possesses an unclassified internal document which proves that Joe Biden did this. The White House is responding this way, saying, for going, for going on five years now, Republicans in Congress have been lobbying unfounded, unproven, politically motivated attacks against the president and his family without offering evidence for their claims. Joining me now is South Carolina Congressman, member of the House Oversight and Judiciary Committees. He's also the GOP freshman class president, Russell Fry. Congressman, thanks very much for being here. You hear the White House's response. Now, we do have bank records, uh, which, of course, James Comer has uh, discussed and that uh, you uh, or he and his colleagues have, have looked at. What can you tell us about this whistleblower report? I think it's a bombshell. This is really big stuff. I mean, up to this point, this is the but this is the first time that we have a direct link uh, alleging uh, or showing that Biden may have had direct influence here. And so, you know, before we've had suspicious activity reports related to his family. We've had the Hunter Biden laptop that there are uh, references made, but nothing directly tying. Uh, really strongly. And here we have a, really a, a bombshell whistleblower coming out alleging that there is a document that, that, that shows that there is an elaborate scheme to, to, but with a foreign national. Uh, I think it's a grave concern to, to all Americans, and that's why the chairman and Senator Grassley uh, are asking Director Ray to produce the document. Well, which country is this referring to? Is this taking money from China or Ukraine or somewhere else? Well, we don't know at this point. Uh, so the whistleblower has come forward. Uh, he has made these allegations and said that there is a document uh, purported to show a financial scheme of bribery and influence peddling uh, of then Vice President Biden. And so that's why the, the production of that document by the DOJ, by the FBI, is so critical uh, to really understanding what this whistleblower is talking about. So certainly more to come, but it's really, I mean, to me, this is probably one of the biggest developments that we've seen so far. And the Hunter Biden laptop story was massive uh, and really kind of uncovered a lot of this stuff. But now we have a, a whistleblower with knowledge of the inside who has come forward and said, hey, uh, you need to look at this uh, particular document. It exists. Uh, and so we have asked for that document. Well, I mean, what if they don't hand over the document? You know, the FBI and the DOJ have been stonewalling you and your colleagues now for years. They'll do it again. Well, and we've, we've had that problem. Obviously, subpoenas work, and so we were going to use our authority. Oversight is a big check to any executive, and, and it is, you know, it's our constitutional duty to provide that oversight of the executive. So we're going to issue those subpoenas. We're going to get to the bottom of this. The American people expect nothing less. Uh, and so we're going to go where we can, and we're going to let the facts dictate our next moves. Well, meanwhile, the White House is refusing to comment on a report that prosecutors are close to deciding on whether to charge Hunter Biden. The first son has been under federal investigation since 2018, uh, reportedly under probe for two misdemeanor tax filing charges, a felony tax evasion charge, and a false statement charge over a gun purchase, Congressman. Uh, so, you know, we're looking at an indictment potential uh, because of tax filing charges. This is not about foreign influence peddling. No, is on that front, timing coincidence? Uh, sort of, yeah. Well, I, th I think it's I think it's important. I mean, in in many ways, this is a very tangled web. I mean, the senator, uh, now President Biden, has been involved in politics for a very long time, and and you're seeing this this tangled web. It's hard to to imagine the scale of it. Uh, and in many ways, we're kind of at the tip of the iceberg. But, but you, you see all these things that are taking place with the suspicious activity reports related to his family, these charges now potentially impending. 
uh, and now we have the the release of this uh, whistleblower statement related to this document. It just all paints a very dim picture about what is truly going on. And so for the Biden family, the walls seem to be closing in. Well, the State Department is uh, responding to the former CIA official who told House investigating uh, investigators that Anthony Blinken orchestrated the intelligence letter discrediting Hunter Biden. Uh, you know, Anthony Blinken says he doesn't do politics. It wasn't him who did the letter. But, of course, Mike Morrell testified that, in fact, his phone call to Mike Morrell triggered uh, this whole uh, activity of getting 51 intelligence officials to sign on a letter that the Biden laptop was disinformation. Right. And this is this is the classic uh, example of how this administration continues to stonewall and gaslight the American people. Uh, it's remarkable. You have the former acting director of the CIA who has testified very clearly that Blinken was the person uh, that was the impetus of, of this letter. Uh, and of course, they're continuing to stonewall. I know a senator has said that that the secretary may have perjured himself based on those comments and what he has already testified to Congress uh, about. So uh, more to come on that. But it's certainly alarming that the secretary deflects and, and demurs, but doesn't engage in the actual question. Uh, Congressman, real quick before you go, if you get that document that indicates uh, and implicates Joe Biden in this influence peddling, where he took money personally and then made a policy decision, will you move to impeach the president? I think that's a very strong possibility. I think uh, it would alarm a lot of Americans if that is indeed the case. Uh, and so we need to see what's in the document, what it shows, what we might okay. need to grab uh, additionally. Uh, but I think that's certainly on the table. Congressman, thank you. We'll be watching all of that. Russell Fry joining us this morning thank you. Uh, on uh, really a, a whistleblower bombshell.